With the unseasonably warm weather Joe was telling us about, lots of people are taking advantage of it by getting on the golf course for one last game. Most local golf courses have closed for the season, but one is still open heading into the back nine. WY Samantha Potter went to the Mark Twain Golf Course in Elmira to find out how the weather is getting people outdoors and helping business. Yes, you're seeing it right. Golf in mid-December. And with temperatures in the mid-60s, it's hard to find too many people complaining. It's all positive reaction. Uh, we got guys playing in shorts and everything, so it's, uh, I mean, everybody's um, begging us to stay open, I'd say, for, you know, probably the next month if it stayed like this. Dozens of golfers were at the Mark Twain Golf Course in Elmira, taking in the last chance to tee off before the season ends which is a hole in one for business. Tursik says looking at the records from last year, three rounds had been played from Thanksgiving until now. This year, he says roughly a thousand rounds have been played in that same amount of time. This warm weather has, has definitely made up for, for April and a late start and uh, it's, um, it's a bonus for us. Now the record breaking high for today is 58 degrees. Well, Joe tells me we broke that at 6 a.m. this morning. Normally this time of year we'd experience high temperatures mid and upper 30s, so that would be a bit on the mild side for this time of year. And here we are about 30 degrees above average. So Joe says so far this year we're well above average temperature wise, but that doesn't mean the whole winter will continue that way. But even in winters where we do have temperatures a bit above average, doesn't mean that we won't get snow. And in some cases, in those types of winters, we get even stronger and heavier snowstorms. They just won't last, you know, that long on the ground. And now, despite the unseasonably warm weather, Mark Twain Golf Course will be having its last day tomorrow, December 15th. Reporting in Elmira, Samantha Potter, WENY News.